lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is tia aka teacup simmer and this is another part of our wolf quest series and we are back with robin in the feather pack and we have her mate her official mate sparrow with her they are just getting back to or at least waking up from their rest after getting down this um i believe it's uh, cow elk yeah it's cow elk and they spent a little bit of time resting napping getting up their strength they are they have really great affinity but now they're kind of protecting it from this fox that is trying to seal it um, of course sparrows doing laps trying to make sure that we don't lose the food but we're pretty we're pretty good I think we don't necessarily need to stick around I feel like the fox can have it let's check the map to see where we're at Yep, our affinity is 87. I'm very happy about that. Let's see, show pack territories. So on our last episode, we were working kind of on breaking down some of the um, some of the Wapiti pack territory, and we even got into a few fights. And I think that would have given Robin some ideas. So now that she's rested and interested, I think she would definitely want to go see about. Let's see if we can take. Can we change? Are you upset, Sparrow? Is that what that is? Yeah, we'll go this way. I think we'll take some time to basically take down some territories. It's gonna be really great practice for us because we're basically going to have to create our own territory when the Slough Creek um, episode comes around. So I think it'll be good practice for Sparrow and for Robin to start working on protecting a specific area from encroaching invaders, which I think will be fun. But if you guys are loving this marathon, this should be the third episode going up on a Wednesday. And if you guys like this, definitely leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload anything Wolf Quest or anything else that I upload for that matter. We're working really hard on doing our Warrior Cats, our Sims 3 Warrior Cats challenge again. We've got a lot of blogs up. I've been trying to keep up with Niche and putting up um, basically little tidbits on our community tab. And of course, everybody's always welcome to join our Discord. Link will be in the description box and on our community tab in a post that I did a couple, uh, like a week ago. Um, so you guys can definitely check that out. Ooh, what's that? Is that another fox? That's a fox. Okay, so let's see if we're already, we're not in their territory yet. Sparrow. Are you, are you we on good terms? Let's see. I seriously, it started snowing again when they woke up and I was all for it because look at this. Look at how pretty they are. They're just like, hello. Don't be fooled, we're amazing. I really wanted to get some really great photos with Sparrow in like the foreground because of how like bright she is compared to Robin. They have very different colorings. And so it's really nice to be able to get some really great photos of both of them together with Sparrow in the foreground instead of Robin. I'm trying to see if I can get like a really nice movement image. That's nice, I like that. I'm As you guys can tell, I take a lot of photos. This is something everybody should get used to. Okay, so let's start moving. I want to see if we can get rid of a few Wapiti Pack territories. And speak of the devil. Okay, we're going to get rid of a few Wapiti Pack territories. We may get into a few fights, which also helps our um, our claim on an area go up, or at least the claim the Wapiti Pack has to an area go down. Um, normally when a pack has about, has pretty high, um, pretty high control of an area it means that they've been here recently so you're definitely more likely to get into a fight or two but i really want us to see about basically taking over basically getting rid of all of their extra area and i think they've inspired since a lot a few of the last patches they've been um making it so that the other packs take territory more often i can't say that for sure i haven't been checking the um checking the forums or checking any of the checking out any of the patch notes but it feels like they've been they've been encroaching on regular territory more often so it would be interesting to see um, if this is kind of the pace they're going to be working with when we start doing sl the Slough Creek area or we start doing the Slough Creek episode that's the word I was looking for we just have to pee on all of the things 
What's the affinity level right now? Oh, it's on five. We're almost there. How? How with me, Sparrow? Come on, girl. Our girlfriend is like, no, I'll pee. I won't howl. Okay. So let's keep going straight. I'm trying to decide if I want to take out this entire section or if we want to move this way and start taking out some of the Lamar Valley. I think going through towards the Lamar Valley would be a little bit fitting because I think Sparrow would have a lot of, um, I guess, animosity towards the Lamar Valley because in a lot of our stories and a lot of the stories you guys left in the comments in some of Sparrow's intro videos, her story kind of lends her to being a really good hunter or from the Lamar Valley pack, which is a really great idea and I love that. So I'm trying to think of, I guess, some other little bits of her backstory. Like I, everybody said she was gonna be like an amazing hunter, which she actually is a pretty good hunter. Of all the other times we've chested, ooh, get it, bunny, give it to Sparrow. Will she take it? Sparrow, there's a bunny for you. We love you. She ate it. Did you eat it? She ate a little bit of it. Oh, that's sweet. Yay. She ate our gift. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm so happy about that. Okay. Which way are we going? Yeah, we're heading back towards, I guess, the what you'd call the overlook. Back towards where we start turn it starts going from amethyst mountain down into the valley um and let's see everything looks so different when it's snowing like all of the spaces that we're used to seeing look very different like it's very hard to tell landmarks when everything's covered in snow let's see where are we at okay we're heading for that big piece of land that basically connects the top of the mountain with the bottom of the, of the mountain or the valley and we didn't actually get into any trouble with the wapiti pack which is very funny because i figured after the last time i think we 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 got into two fights last time just from trying to like take out a lot of their territory and i'm not going to fault them for anything because we were trying to take over their territory so they they have a they have a right to be a little bit squishy about it let's see but I do want to say happy pride to everyone. I posted something a while ago, um, especially, I think it was like the day of, the day of June, like the start of June, June 1st. And I posted something from um, a while ago that I did last year for pride, where I was, I did a couple, not a couple, I did a, whoa, okay, so I was worried we were gonna have to go down. We we're gonna go down and slide. But I posted a, image of a poly couple or a poly or polycule which is basically like a more than two people um like romantic group um if there's lots of there's lots of different terminology once you get into grsm jsr grsm stuff but i posted a photo of a polycule that i made in the sims 4 and i love them they're so cute um, but I was trying to figure out what to do for the rest of Pride. We've got maybe two weeks of Pride left. And since everyone's basically been staying inside, I haven't even been able to check out any of like the usual Pride parades and stuff that used to go on near my area. Because of course, Atlanta has a lot of big um, Pride festivals and parades and parties that go on during Pride, which is all great. Hi, Fox. Uh, but it tends right now is because of quarantine everyone's kind of stuck inside so I'm tempted to try and do something else but you guys can let me know down in the comments since this is currently marathoning and I'll definitely read all the comments and I've definitely been checking all the comments I always read the comments <laughs> always guys um, but even if even if I don't put a heart on your comment I've read your comment um, but if you guys have some ideas that you would like to see, things that you'd like us to try for Pride, that would be really cool. Okay, we're back down into the valley. So let's head to the east so we can start taking out some of the Lamar Valley Pack's territory. The fun part is because she has to run so much, you can 
visibly see her getting tired on the top left corner and I think that's great. I think it's great that she gets tired from running for so long. I don't remember if it was in, I don't think we had that in the last game. Like in Wolf Quest 2.7, I don't think you could see them get visibly tired from just long running, not just like, oh, your stamina is down, so you have to relax for a minute so that you can like continue sprinting. But like, oh, I've been running for a really long time. I've been up for eight hours and I haven't eaten anything and I haven't been able to chill out. I'm actually tired. Okay, we are heading in the right direction. The only thing I do wish is that your mate was more visible. Like I can't see Sparrow unless I stop. See, unless I stop, I don't see Sparrow. And I don't like that. I wanna be able to see her like right next to me. Cause right now, there we go. She's only up here sometimes. Maybe it's because of the trees or anything or is she just all weavy like that? Not sure. And come on Sparrow. There we go. She always runs with her mouth open. She's so funny. She's such a funny bab. She's like, I'm going to sit here and look cute. And look at the stars and they're all dusty covered in snow and all, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, she always, I don't know why she always keeps running with that weird look on her face. She's just like, look at me. She's like, she even has her tongue out. Look at her, she's so funny. Okay, let's keep going. I really want to get to the Lamar Valley Pack territories because I usually don't see them unless it's during hunts because there's actually there's usually no reason to go this far out unless you're trying to either hunt or get into trouble. <laughs> that tends to be what happens. You either hunt or you get into trouble. Here we go. Let us pee on all the things. And I probably, I'm pretty sure that Sparrow probably gets a little bit of satisfaction from doing this because she's like, well, this used to be my territory. I might as well take it back. They can't get mad. But if we do like a lot of this, like the howling and stuff, I know they were talking about um, in the, I think in some of the dev vlogs that they've made changes so that you could technically put down a scent marker like by peeing, you could put down a scent marker. There's a specific option for it. So I'm not sure, let me see, what are we at? We're 28, we're in the 28 tiles. So we could probably make a U-turn to get to all of these. But you could put down like an actual scent type marker to make your own territory, which I find super interesting. Come on, we should take over the world. Sparrow's like, I shall pee first. <laughs> You've unlocked the cursor, which will make it difficult to steer your wolf. What do you mean I've unlocked the cursor? I didn't mean to. How did I do that? Press the comma key. Oh, comma. That's weird. I didn't even try to do that. That was nonsense. Can we click on her? Yay. Hey, Sparrow. Are we in a good mood? Are you happy to be back home? She's looking at me like, what? Girl, what are you doing? She's like, oh, never mind. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy. It's not, it's definitely nice to be back home. Play bow. Do you wanna like fool around and jump around? She's like, I'm in a, I'm just in a gentle mood. She's like, okay, let's continue. Good, let's continue taking over their territory. Oh, we were able to do it. Let's see. We got rid of this one. Let's go for those. Which way are we facing? Let's see, go this way. I kinda wanna check out the river again. The rivers are always pretty when it's late. We may be able to take out one more territory before we have to take a rest. And I kinda wanna rest near the river because it's party. Are there any scents out here? There's, there's Sparrow <laughs> right on top of us, which is kind of funny. Let's see, which way? Yep, we're almost there. But I kind of want to see if, I'm, I'm actually very surprised we haven't run into anything. <gasps> Elk. We're not that hungry though. 
so that's later. Oh look, more mule deer. We're also not that hungry. Leave it alone, Sparrow. Okay, we're almost there. There we go. Pee on all the things. Sparrow, where'd you go? Leave the mule deer alone. I don't know why she decides to go after the silliest things. She's like, I shall pee, and then I shall run away. She's like, I'll lay down here and chill. Well, I didn't even know you could howl while sitting. That's super cute. Howl. I still love her pattern. I really kind of want to see what happens, what would happen with pups. Let us take over all the territory. I don't see anyone. That's the, at least the good part about being in the open area. In the forest, it's harder to see if some um, wolf is going to sneak up on you. Can we just do this? <laughs> I don't know why, but her, like, all of the peeing animations are always so funny. Okay, we got 5% left. How? Yeah, we could do it, we could do it. Yeah, we did it. Look at us. Okay, I want to do Confident Tail. Woo! Look at us, we just took it over. And... We pretty much carved out a space all the way to the river, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's a rock. <gasps> there's a bear. I don't want to get... Where are you going, bear? It's interesting to see it, like, as we run. Like, woo! Whoa, look at that shot. These guys are so fun. They're like, look at us as we run through the sky. She really does look like a bird. I wish I could put some wings on her. Ooh, so cute. And continue. Let's see. We're almost to the river. There we go. They always have some nice rocks down here. And of course she's getting tired. So I think this is where we're going to take a break here, you guys. We're gonna let them get some water, take a rest, probably sleep near some of these rocks. Hopefully Sparrow won't be nearly as hard-headed as she was previously. <laughs> Sparrow, what are you doing over there, babe? She's like, I just need some alone time. I love, see, this, the lighting here is so much better. Lost River had bad lighting. Now we can see Robin in all of her amazing glory. Let's do another turn. You could do. She's like, I am glorious. I'm still partial to our, our windswept boy. <gasps> she wants to play. I'm sorry, babe. We're tired. Like. I, I adore you, but we're tired. Like, <laughs> Sparrow's like, I, I want to hang out. Let's do something. <laughs> Go get the bunny. I'll sit here. Go get the bunny. Okay, guys, we're going to let them take a break, and I'll be back with you soon. Bye. Hey, lovelies. Welcome back. It looks like the feather pack has woken up. It is a beautiful morning here in the Lamar Valley because we are down near the river. And of course, <laughs> Sparrow is being incredibly pushy and saying, babe, babe, wake up, let's go. Um, let's greet her. Let's do a sniff sniff. Can I do a sniff? Sniff? Let me sniff. There you go. Yeah, let me sniff. So we can say good morning, good morning to our mate so she can stop being overly twitchy. Okay, I can't tell if those are mule deer or, let's see. Let's check this out. I think these are mule deer, the way they're bouncing. Yeah, mule deer. 
Well, we want to go for some real nice elk, so we're going to avoid those. Let's see, where are the rabbit brush herd? Let's see, coyotes. Let's see if we can smell anything. Rabbit brush herd is over this way. Oop, what's this? Elk herd, rabbit brush, two hours, female dispersals. It's coming from these tracks, but I don't know which way they're going. Yep, they're going this way. Sparrow, come on. We have to follow the herd. As soon as I figure out which way they went. We're behind them by about an hour, so hopefully we can pick up the trail and follow them. Hopefully they didn't go too far. And I think we'll catch up to them or... There he is. Woo, look at that. All right, let's see what we can do. You guys are fun, but you're far. I don't want to run that fast. <laughs> That's, I feel silly for saying that, but I'm like, I don't want to run that fast. Do we want to get a baby? Let's try it. Um, Let's see what we can do. Are you? You're not that. You're not that good. No. Let's leave him. There's the herd. Let's see if we can follow them around. We could go for like a regular. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm trying for the calf. For the calf. There we go. There we go. Come on, sparrow. Move, 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 move. I wanna see if we can do this cause she hasn't tried taking out a baby in ages. There we go. Mom is too late. Too late, I say. We're almost there. Sparrow, keep her distracted. <laughs> Keep her distracted, Sparrow. We've almost got it. Come on, move, move, move. Nope, oh, oops. Run away. Get it. Nope. Oh, goodness. That was painful. We got it. We get it. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Taking out a baby. It is definitely easier with two with two wolves. I don't know what the thing is because the actually, the other person or at least the other wolf is able to keep the mom distracted, which is super nice. All right, you okay, babe? Did she hit you too hard? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Thank you for helping. I very much appreciate. I very much appreciate all the assistance. All right. Well, this is probably going to be a short one, you guys, because I think we're, I'm trying to figure out, ooh, get away. Grr. Thank you, Sparrow. We'll probably have them sit down, protect, protect the little elk <laughs> as they're in the shadow. Like the herd is still right there. That's kind of crazy that the herd decided to stay this close. But it would be cool if we had like another game like this that allowed us to do like leopards or um, what is it called? Like a sword. Is this one of those ones where the spike elks are gonna like try and fight? Or are you from this area? I can't tell if you're supposed to be the head of this herd or not. Like it's just prancing over. I can't tell. He's standing there all weird like, okay, no, never mind. He's not, he's not challenging. Usually there's like, they said that they had an issue or a thing where they would have, you'd be able to see elk challenging each other, which I thought was really cool, but I don't think it's there. I don't think that's what that is. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.